How do you handle situations when um, you're in a meeting yes. and one SEO says, here's how we should handle it, sure. right? And another SEO is in a different meeting yes. and says something completely opposite or different. Yes. And then the project team is hearing two, two different, different messages. That's right. How do you help make sure that stuff doesn't happen? Um, basically, try to ensure that we almost have one re uh, representative that I will attend uh, meetings outside of SEO. So for example, my tech manager, my EMEA marketing manager, uh, my EMEA SEO manager, um, he'll attend a lot of the EMEA marketing meetings. But so again, whether it's content, whether it's development, whether it's business strategy. So, you know, if I'm in meetings or I'm out of the office or for example, I'm here at PubCon, I feel 100% confident that I can rely on my, my guy in EMEA to represent my thoughts. Now, what won't happen is that we won't make rash decisions. You know, he won't go and make 101 decisions and then tell me oh, I've done X, Y, and Z. He'll inform me this is the approach, this is the thinking behind it. There might be a few things that I throw back. Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll, we'll agree that yes, this is the right course of action, and then we'll document and present back to those immediate departments. So it, the key would be that when you go into these meetings, you don't always spit out the answer. Exactly. You say, exactly. have some ideas, let me go let, back to the exactly, team and exactly. clarify that. And then you've also got someone in place yes. to be a unified front Absolutely. to catch the contradiction. So you might have the EMEA um, lead yes. manager yes. and someone else on the project and someone else on the yes. SEO team there and so this person might say something incorrect yes. and this person yes. will clarify this yeah. is actually it, what we're exactly. saying elsewhere exactly so that's a great yeah. way of handling it and yeah I mean it's, it's you have to be dynamic and again I think you know every team member has their responsibilities and again you know we don't we don't close them up we encourage the learning um, but at the same time, you know, we might offer mentoring. So if we find that actually we're getting a lot of uh, challenges with a certain member of staff, let's say for argument's sake, you know, they're always throwing up an alternative solution or speaking without thinking. And you know, that can be dangerous mm -hmm. in SEO, right? So um, it might be actually, you know what, they haven't had exposure from different approaches. You know, they've only been able to kind of get their point across in that meeting to feel like they're being heard. So I kind of try to look at the problem provide a different tact to the problem, and then show them a different way that they can actually get to a solution. So, so sometimes um, it's about um, training and mentoring absolute, on their communication absolute, skills, absolute, not absolute, only the SEO absolute, skills. Absolutely. And, and I always say, you know, 80% of an in-house SEO's job yes. is actually selling SEO. Absolutely. That's communication absolutely. and sales. Absolutely. And only about 20% is actually the SEO exactly. skill itself exactly. in doing it. So. Exactly. Perfect. Right. Well, thank you very much Jessica, for your time. it's been a pleasure.